Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. Start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Plays like that will really help this offense settle in here on the road. And when you go on the road, you also have to deal with the fans as well. And when you have those types of runs, that'll settle them back into their seats. They run again on first down, Chubb. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? They go with Chubb on second down. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play that sets up a third and inches situation. Good strong run against the 3 4 set. And that 3 4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. And they let their fullback try and push the pile. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. I get the thought process. Third and short, give it to the fullback, let him bulldoze his way. But that means you're counting on your offensive line to win the line of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, and there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. On fourth down, Watson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. And the Bills now with a first and ten on their side of midfield at the 47. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the alert, coordinator. Alert, alert. Middle, 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 middle. From midfield, here's Allen. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. to the air, Allen. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And the Browns will take over possession here up at the 44. And that was
was one I kind of saw coming, Charge. He had a free safety just hanging back there over the middle, waiting, and he saw that ball go in the air, and he jumped on it. And I don't know why the quarterback didn't see that. That was just your standard cover three, which means a free safety in the middle of the field, the two corners, and they divide the field in thirds. But when you have a free safety with range, like a good center fielder, he can go from side to side and make plays on the football as he did there. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six at its second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From the 50, it's Watson. His throw incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Back deep is Micah Hyde. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, it's still in the first half here, a long way to go. This a quick pass to Davis. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And yeah, that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. And this will be taken at the 13. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero, we'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. 
But you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Uh, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. When the hitch route is run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. That's exactly what he got done there. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Second and seven. On the give, this is their fullback. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Watson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Third down, passing down. They throw the extra defensive back in there for a nickel package, and it worked out. And it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field and an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to the wrong team, and it cost them six points. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. They begin this drive with Chubb, and he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Tyrell Dotson there on the tackle. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Chubb on the counter, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time, but you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Making the give, now Watson. He's got a man, complete! Touchdown! Donovan Peoples-Jones.
Jones, 72 yards. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, they had gone run the previous play. Nice little setup. This time they go play action. Defense bites a bit, and they hit for a big play in the end zone. So they sold it really well, didn't they? Because of just what you described. They ran at the previous play, come back with the same action, and now they step back and throw it and get a big play for a touchdown. But what happens as a defensive back is your eyes have to go to the right place. You always hear a coach talk about, are your eyes in the right spot? Well, this time the eyes went to the play action. It froze their feet. They weren't moving, and he went on past them and caught the pass for a touchdown. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity, push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Second and two. Here's Allen to throw it. Uncorks one for Davis. And it's knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now Allen completes it to Davis. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Here's Allen on first and ten. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. on first down that leads to a second and ten Allen a hit as he throws there incomplete to this point I've been impressed with the work defensively they have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free and there's another example another incompletion Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Allen to throw once more. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough, and now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back, but how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? So they're going for it, and here's Allen. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is going to have the Bills first down as they manage to convert 
And that'll keep the drive alive. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. First down with Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Allen off the play fake. Throw left side complete. That's Davis. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On play action, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Final adjustments being made for the second half. So with that, we get you back up to Orchard Park and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Bills with the lead and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. McKenzie now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. A run by Moss to start the third quarter. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Play action. Now it's Allen. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Middle, 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 middle. 
So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. to throw, it's Allen. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So it would appear they will not be able to add to their lead on this opening drive of the second half. Yeah, if another touchdown was scored there, now we're talking about a two-score game, and they're probably on their way of creating an excellent gap between them and their pursuers. But how about the defense there able to step up and keep themselves in this one? And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Watson got an open man that's David Njoku the tight end and he'll be taken down but not before they reach the 50 that one good for 20 on the catch and run a couple of first downs right in succession and this is an offense that could really use a good drive and they're off to a fast start here back to back good plays have them on the move on first down First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Final minute now in the third quarter. down they'll run with Chubb and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry no not at all they did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up three yards on that last carry here's second and seven and again it's Chubb and not much running room down to the 32 Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go.
So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Here's Watson. Swings this out for Hunt. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 18. And they'll get 14 yards out of it and a fresh set of downs. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for him here the entire second half. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The last run got six, now second and four. And Chubble trying the middle here. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Deshaun Watson scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Browns are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25.
Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Singletary again. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. They'll need five on this play to move alert. the sticks. Alert, alert, alert. Half, 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 half. Allen. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation. And now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made in my estimation. with just over a minute to go in the game. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Here's Allen. Forced out to his left. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. This defense so strong all afternoon long. Well executed again there. This is a group that really functions well off of each other. No matter what the assignment, the other person fills in in the exact proper spot. They've made it very, very hard for them to find open places to throw the football. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two, and it brings up four. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. This is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Now, this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. Yeah, Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And, partner, you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. Here's Watson. He's going to air one out. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And he will be out of bounds. So, partner, that means we got some free football. We're headed to overtime. 
It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So the Bills going to be the first to get it as we are back underway here in overtime. McKenzie now from his end zone. come to the line to start their next drive. All set up for him right now, Charles. Opening possession of overtime, but they've got the football. They also obviously have this home crowd behind them in a big way. They get that extra energy from them, but they've got to be careful not to let that adrenaline get away from them and play too fast or create errors of their own making. Use that energy, embrace it, but make sure they channel it the right way. They've got a chance to go downfield, score a touchdown, and end this game. 56, 56. 56, 56. First throw of overtime for Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT. You've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one from 14 yards and another first. They go with the ground game, pick up the first, now in plus territory. And that changes the whole mentality of a play caller, doesn't it? Once they cross the 50, they feel like they're in the strike zone, all right? You don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots downfield or go after the end zone. Right now, that might be available to them. And now this first drive in OT continues. Allen going to get this one to Singletary. So nothing doing there, and that will bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. To throw again on second down, Allen. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. There he goes, right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done.